yes sir At the moment, I'm trying to figure out drum world. There's gonna be a massive world of drums in this area, right? I don't know what I'm gonna call it. I think I think I'm gonna call it Lord Sput's Castle. <laughs> I manage Bill and I manage Snarky Puppy, and um, I best I'm best if I stay out of the way. But it looks like it's going. It looks like it's going very well. I think at three o'clock in the afternoon, I think it's looking all right. Famous last words and all that. But it's looking good. I think. Can't be uh, Set list. Uh, it's rather frustrating because I've got lots of songs that I want to record, but I haven't got enough time to record them. Um, so. You know, it's that uh, difficult question of which songs. Now, what time would you need the orders by? Um, I think. I'm just doing emails. You want me to tell you what songs to play on your live album? <laughs> you don't want that. I'll just call this song. Uh, well, that's get rid of. so far. That is every song from every album. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> so, I thought I'd start with that, and then you know, and then just kind of work my way back. I would kill. <laughs> How's it going? We're actually getting there, and you know, we've struck like we've played some really small stages, and uh, so it's nice. To stop. We have a room, a chapel. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, come in, you're fine. I was just wondering, am I doing that I will feed for tonight? Mm -hmm. uh, the best one is to drink either a roast chicken or a vegetarian risotto. What would you fancy? You want to buy out, so I'll give the money to your tour manager and she'll sell it out. Vegetarian risotto, please. Same, please. Uh, what's your name? Michael. Michael? Yeah. Live album with audience. But, well, I think it's uh, it's something that everybody involved in this project has always been involved in doing things like that. So I think it's kind of second nature, mm. um, and I think you know I think it's a really good thing to do. I think it's good to document this band. I think this band are amazing. I think the music's amazing, and I think it's going to sound so good and look so good in this beautiful venue. So I think it's it's good, and thank you very much for getting involved, guys. Uh, cool. The thank one you. over here, maybe maybe it would end up being either like a little less intensity or faced out to the audience or something like that, you know? Or okay. are these dimmable? Uh, they're just the heat. They're just heat. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> amazing! I thought they were like open face. <laughs> no, oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, the, these by the by the source force. Oh, the source. But the little, the, the gelled open face. Uh, I don't have control oh. of those at the moment. Yeah, oh, but see. they're just house lights. So. Right. Okay. Yeah. They're not. I was wondering, like, if we would want them on, like, at like five percent, just kind of like for whatever. But, just to yeah. see the audience. Yeah. yeah no, I don't know. Um, we can easily do that with say something. We've got the pass. We've got the pass on the top there. We can easily do that. Right. Yeah. You want to see a video of a dog doing yoga? <laughs> yes. Okay. Of course I do. It's really good. <laughs> Come on, dude. Are you kidding? Look. It's really doing it. It's really... Oh. God. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. The sort of thing a regular occurrence. <laughs> yes.
<laughs> this is how we stay sane. It's, uh... <laughs> Dog videos, dude. What are you working on? Getting the spare back underneath without a winch. Oh, <laughs> it's awful. It's awful. It's difficult. Yeah, the jacket up. Is this a tour van? Yeah. This is the exact kit that I played Fjords, Fjords on, on Bill's record, which is the first song on the CD. It's the exact same color, the exact same model, and it was fresh out the box. I didn't change any heads. I took I took a solo on that kit, on that on that drum kit that day. And um, it's what you hear on the record. It sounded amazing, straight out the box. I didn't tune anything, I didn't I just played them as is. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it kind of sold me, you know, a little bit. And then what I've been doing on this tour is, because of space issues, I, I had like a couple items added to the drum kit. And this is Silver Star Cocktail Kit, which is um, really quite unique, because the kick drum is, if you come closer, kick drum is, it's like a stand-up so kick drum is actually facing upward, and the 14 inch tom is like a resonator. It acts as a resonator and it gives you the tone. So if I tune this up, then the, the kick drum will go up. The pitch of the kick drum will go up. And if I tune it down, the pitch, pitch of the kick drum will go down. So this is what I'm gonna be playing for the majority of the set, actually. And then a couple of songs I'm gonna play the big gusto, you know. Never fallen. Have I ever fallen, Bill, on stage? I did a gig with the singer where she fell fell over my monitor in a dress and heels right into my double bass. <laughs> so that's one, two, three. Wait, one, two, three, four. Uh, and then uh, five is in the alcove. Six would be up there. Uh, the only thing is then I lose I lose my handheld thing. Yes. Uh, I've, I tell you what, I've been to loads of gigs here and they've all been amazing. And uh, this is not going to be an exception by a long way. Um, the cool thing about it is that it's almost 360 and you don't really get many venues like that. Especially, especially not normally allowed to do this sort of music in churches. Not in the UK, anyway. Quite a good day, then. It's going to be a great day. It's going to be really, really fun. Like, insane amounts of fun. Insane amounts of learning for me, but really fun. So, I, I, nobody told me they're making a DVD. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> no pressure. Just, uh,
there anything anybody can be doing to, to get the stage patched? Being off it. Sure. Uh, yeah, just need to uh, slowly and surely get everything working. This is a funny one because obviously the recording and um, so the plans for the DVD. That we want to make sure that absolutely, definitely, 100% we get the recording done. So we've got three redundant systems running. Uh, Harrison's running one front of house from his console, and I'm running two machines here uh, via a separate system. So fingers crossed, everything will work. Yeah. How much are you tracking then? Uh, 48 channels. Um, everything that Harrison's taking, he's taking 32. Uh, and then I'm adding some ambient mics, two crowd mics. Uh, two pairs of omnis and a couple of nicer mics to the strings and piano. Uh, obviously it's a bit of a different ball game miking for live and miking for, for DVD. So. Is the room the problem? No, not in here. The room is the, the, the problem in the sense that it makes me want to play everything. Yeah, it's a beautiful sounding room, yeah. Mm -hmm. In a lot of places the room handcuffs you, you know, forces you to either play acoustic stuff or loud stuff depending on how wet or dry it is. but. In this case, I think it's really warm, yeah. but not wet. Yeah. We didn't. We literally didn't cut a single thing except do one. <laughs> You know what you came in here for? You came in here for me to tell you that I thought it was cool that we just play everything. <laughs> that is correct. Shit! Actually, uh, the last time I was here was when I was nine years old, uh, and I played that organ because we, my primary school, my primary school is just around the corner, and uh, we came here for a day trip. I think I remember playing um, the, the Beverly Hills Cop theme tune, and I was suddenly the coolest kid at class. Uh, and now I'm back, and it's amazing. Everything's going wrong. Yeah. Everything. No, nothing's going wrong. We're just at sound check, and at sound check, something is always supposed to go wrong. Oh no, it's just yeah, they're just working out sound issues, you know, playing in a church using a different set of microphones. It's always interesting, like, playing an electric gig with a string section or something, because it's acoustic instruments, you know? So you're already kind of being unnatural a bit when you put a pickup in a double bass or on a viola or something. But the, these, uh, this, these musicians are, are really accustomed to it, so they're, like, so chill. They're so laid back. We've, you know, we've all done gigs in our lives where people want their normal environment to be the current environment, you know, especially in terms of orchestral players. But in this situation, they're so, you know, they use effects pedals and they're really open to, to, to the skill sets that you need. Playing with the band. So we've got, um, we've got two hours until the door opens, the doors open. And uh, and then we've got to, we still need to build all the sliders and stuff and talk about what's happening next. We need to talk about where we're going to be, who we're filming. Um, so we're just finishing up lights. As soon as we're finished with lights, we'll get all that done and we'll be good to go, I guess. <laughs> Hopefully. All right, well, you never know with these things. I mean, I'm not religious, but I find this kind of um, grounding somehow. It's like, um, I don't know, yeah. How are you finding the acoustics? Well, there's that, exactly. I mean, it's just the most beautiful natural reverb you're, you're going to find, you know? So, yeah, man, happy days.